Hello and welcome to Leadership Journey 3x5. I'm Marilee Denti Madero. Hey, I led people for over 30 years when I was in the military and now I'm kind of traveling the world teaching leadership. So today I'm going to educate you on at least five interesting facts in less than three minutes. So let the leadership journey begin. Guess what? We're not near a country right now. We are out in the seas at the point where the Pacific meets the Atlantic. Where is that? We are in the Drake Passage. Let me show you where that is. You can see up here the bottom part of South America. That's Cape Horn. And it's about 800 kilometers or 500 miles to the northernmost islands of Antarctica. And that's where we are headed. Little adventure in Antarctica. But let me tell you a little bit about this passage. It's named after the 16th century English privateer, Sir Francis Drake. So he was sailing around the coastline and ended up getting blown into this big sea. And that was in the year 1587. So this passage is a really awesome place to see whales. There's a lot of whales swimming around here. So we're looking forward to seeing some of those dolphins, albatrosses. But you know what? This can be some of the roughest seas in the world. In fact, you can see behind me there's some very big swells, but the crew of the ship here tells us this is a really mellow day for the Sir Francis Drake Passage. So, but what about you? As a leader, I want to make sure you're not doing dangerous things and thinking that you know the answers to everything. Let me tell you a little story. First time I had a big leadership job, I was touring one of the work centers and the the work center supervisor was explaining some processes to me and I kind of had a nagging question. But I was too embarrassed to ask him. I thought that that would make me look bad, that I didn't know everything. Well, guess what happened later that day? My boss called me into his office and he asked me that same question. Did I know the answer? Absolutely not. Because I wasn't willing to ask others what is really going on in their areas. So. When you ask your subordinates questions about what they're doing, it shows them that you're interested in the work that they are performing. And you know what? There's a really good chance that you're gonna learn something new. So, as a leader, don't think you know all the answers. Go ahead and ask others what they are doing so that you can build up the knowledge of what's going on in your organization. So I hope you learned something new here today. If you did, would you consider a donation to my nonprofit, M3 International? And you can do that at www.m3international.org. So until next time, let the leadership journey continue. God bless you.